Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be showing you a few exercises that will help you keep your wrists and fingers nice and loose for all of your daily activities. You should consult your physician or other healthcare professional before starting this or any other fitness program to determine if it is right for your needs. This is particularly true if you or your family have a history of high blood pressure or heart disease, or if you have ever experienced chest pain when exercising, or have experienced chest pain in the past month when not engaged in physical activity, smoke, have high cholesterol, are obese, or have joint problems that could be made worse by a change in physical activity. If you experience faintness, dizziness, pain, or shortness of breath at any time while exercising, you should stop immediately. Stop immediately if anything causes you pain. We're demonstrating forearm right, stretches at three levels of difficulty. In the first position, you'll have your arm out in front of you, fingers facing or the ceiling, and with your other hand, you'll pull your fingers back towards your body, applying a light amount of pressure. In the second position, you'll have your hands out in front of you, together, and you'll push them against each other, applying a bit more pressure than you did in the first position. In the third position, again, you'll have your arm out in front of you, fingers facing or and with your other hand, you'll pull your fingers back towards yourself, upon applying the maximum amount of pressure that's still comfortable. Three, two, one. A great exercise for your fingers is to practice opening and closing them one at a time. Nice job. John is using both hands at the same time, making this an extra difficult task. Control. As noted by the therapist, the degree of control is a little bit higher than if you were to do this task a different way. This version of the exercise is a little bit easier. Oh. As you can see, only one hand is used, so the degree of control required is slightly less. Good job. This would be a great place to start if you have never done this exercise before. Very nice. Nice speed and control. The hardest way to do this exercise is to go as fast as possible. Faster, faster. The degree of control required is very difficult but it's a great way to practice difficult tasks with your fingers in general. Great job, John. After doing these a few times, you should notice differences doing stuff with your hands, like getting dressed and stuff. That sounds great. Yeah, do it good. To improve wrist movement, try drawing half circles on a sheet of paper with your wrist firmly planted on the table. It's a great job, Reed. Make sure you get your wrist in there a little more. Keep that wrist planted. To progress the exercise further, try drawing full circles on your sheet of paper. My daughter draws great circles Good like job. that too. Looks like an Easter egg. To progress the exercise even further, try drawing figure eights on your sheet of paper. Way to use your wrist, Reed. Good job. You're doing an amazing job. Nice. Good job. You can perform some fun and simple hand and wrist exercises even with things found around your house. Good job, Monica. Good job. What piece you have there? Like this puzzle, for example. A puzzle is an easy way to get the hand and wrist moving, and you can do as many pieces as you'd like for as long as you'd like. Stringing beads or something similar would be a step up from doing a puzzle. It requires more precise movements of the fingers, hand and wrist, and even some grip between the fingers. Here is an example of an even more difficult task. It requires even more precise movements than the beads and requires snapping tiny objects onto this Lego plate. 